hello guys welcome to the live stream and today uh, i will be building the thermal application uh, which we have left in the the last stream well uh, i didn't get time to uh, do the live stream actually but uh, like while i was offline uh, i was able to do a lot of stuff in the application itself and i will just show the application i have built in just a moment now let me pull up the chat real quick and uh, uh, if you want to see the full progress of the of the app uh, while I was developing, uh, you can join the, the like there's a separate Discord server for the for this application uh, where you can you know, uh, share your feature requests or maybe if you have a the bug report you can share that or even if you have any question you can ask that question. Like even though the application is not uh, released yet, uh, I mean. Uh, it is still under development, uh, but once it will be once it will be released, uh, you are most welcome to you know uh, post the question because since uh, the application is not ready and you can't really you know use the application right now. But uh, I'll be soon uh, releasing this app uh, for free and uh, you can test it out, use it uh, the way you want. And the, there are a few uh, features, you know, or maybe a few. Uh, there are a few things uh, which make this uh, app uh, or this uh, app so uh, unique uh, from other apps. And that is, uh, I will try my best to, you know, uh, add all the features uh, which Git includes. Uh, I mean, I, like I did read the documentation of uh, the Git. Uh, uh, the official git documentation and I there are maybe thousands of you know those flags like if you want to print custom data to the uh, terminal so there are uh, the possibilities are totally endless like even if you know uh, if you want to run a git uh, log I mean sorry git show command uh, let me just show that real quick okay so what I mean by that if we you know uh, run git show and then we paste the commit ID uh, which I, I don't know like how long, uh, I mean, long the string is and then there is this bunch of flags we can add like a uh, format and then uh, based on those uh, formats or you can say flags we can modify the data for example if you want to write one line or any way you want to uh, you know format the data we can uh, use those things um, you know we can add even uh, additional things also uh, for example I don't remember right now um, uh, maybe you know I'm just uh, taking a, a, an absurd exa example it's not a, a real thing uh, you know like uh, with commit or something uh, so I think uh, we can even extend it uh, using comma I'm not sure like something like this so uh, like my point is that uh, there are possibilities are totally endless you know uh, just to uh, get the data of the actual uh, the command you are running like git show git log git status anything uh, so yeah and the source code uh, is also i mean i have opened the, uh, this repository in uh, vs code and i have built the application like you can see over here and let me just uh, open the home page so this is the 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 home page which you will see when you will install it on your machine and start using it um, and uh, so uh, like if you have if you have the question like when it will be available for you to use so uh, i am planning to uh, like uh, launch it very soon like uh, i don't want to uh, like build all the features and then release it uh, that will be a, maybe way too long but uh, my approach is you know just to build basic functionality like that the user can uh, commit a file uh, not a, like specific line of code that will be a big task to do uh, but it will be a, just a simple for now uh, before we add new features so uh, in the basic uh, process i will just add a few basic features where user can commit a file and also maybe you know uh, uh, what was the other one yeah I mean, you know if they want to check the history of the uh, like git repository they can also do that so i'll just uh, give you a brief you know walk through like how does it work uh, let me just grab a path of a, a git repository so i'll just show you the so the the, the source code of this uh, repository is also hosted on a, on gitlab uh, I, I mean uh, i created a repository so it is managed by git only so i'll add this uh, git repository in, in this application so i'll click on this button 
and over here I can uh, add a paste the link uh, later on I will also add the button where the user can uh, you know like choose the path of the repository and then we can add the repository to show over here we can of course even remove it so uh, basically it's uh, like for now it's not very too fancy uh, it's just basic few things and then you know, uh, you know uh, for example uh, we have few additional repositories just a second i will add the other one also uh, for example if i add this so you know if we want to switch between different repositories so we can just select over here i, I also need to add an edit button where if you want you know if you want to uh, change the name of the repository or change the path hey sam what's up it's a long time to see you glad to uh, glad you joined the live stream so as i was saying that uh, i'll be adding the edit button later on uh, so you can just uh, click on the select button and it will uh, open the uh, the workspace for the specific path for the specific repository and then you can see all the other files uh, which have been modified or new files that they have been created or uh, any deleted files so you can sh uh, see these marks on the right side like it is showing m a and i think i don't have any deleted file but it will show a d also for deleted and i think r for rename i like i literally learned new things uh, while working on this project like what uh, are the possibilities in, um, in the git only yes yes i'm i'm working on a electron app so it's a elect uh, so i'm using electron plus vue.js so uh, as I, you already know that i am a big fan of vue.js Um, yeah, so uh, so you can uh, click on the this checkbox, and uh, and then you can uh, like I, let me just show you like uh, I have to still work on that feature where you can you know actually type the commit message and and make the actual commit. Just a second. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see over here, uh, that you can um, enter the title, and then uh, like after you have to first select the like which files you want to uh, commit. I will add the functionality of you know uh, selecting a specific line in the file uh, later on. But you know since uh, I want to you know uh, ship this uh, app real quick with the basic functionality, um, so that's why I will just. Uh, Add this feature and you can uh, add multiple files uh, add a title and then click on this button uh, currently this feature doesn't work uh, I, I'm working on this feature right now and on, on the other hand uh, there is this history page uh, which will load yeah so you can see uh, yes yeah, uh, I built this uh, app here yeah thank you uh, yeah, so uh, you can just click on the history. It will uh, it might take few time depending on the size of the git repository uh, I'm I have to still add the feature. I mean there are a lot of features we can add right now I mean it, we're just getting started into the app um, And we can add you know a lazy load or uh, any of the stuff you want to add uh, So over here uh, You can just scroll through the list and check the all uh, history of the logs like starting from the uh, day one like uh, i started this project 16 uh, days ago no no wait a second so i started this officially started this project nine days ago uh, when i was actually you know uh, for i'm continuously working on this project nine for nine days so you can see this commit like six days four days five days three days two days one and like two hours ago so you can see and uh, it's not only that you know you can actually uh, open any specific uh, commit history and it will pop up with all the details uh, like it will show the title uh, it will also show the description but uh, like you know currently i haven't added any uh, description to this uh, actual commit uh, thank you very much uh, sam int2 for the follow really appreciate that so uh, it will show the title the the name of the author and the email and all this uh, bunch of extra stuff and one thing more i just want to mention that 
when i was working on this project i that time came to know that there is actually a tree hash and a parent hash like i wasn't even aware of that that this thing actually exists like i still doesn't even know like what is the use case of this thing like tree hash or parent hash and <laughs> i don't know even know uh, but i still you know say uh, for the sake of this you know like information like what information we can add in the application for the sake of that i just add it over here um and yeah so you can even see the you know list of all the file changes let me just uh, show you some other commit history also um come on come on it should work oh yeah thank god <laughs> okay uh so which one should i show okay like i want to show you know like with uh uh two three number of files uh thank you for the follow sam ind3 really appreciate that uh which one i can show i want you know i'm looking for a commit with three or four file changes Where I can find to do. Come on, no, no, no. There must be somewhere where I can find the number of files. Okay, yeah. So you can see here, like, uh, it's not that much, uh, like, uh, you can actually see, but uh, my point is that uh, it is showing like two files over here, and you can see it is. I to say, I can fix this uh, color. I mean, the color is too bright, uh, but it is showing two file changes uh, with 31 um, addition uh, inside this in these two files and zero deletion. Uh, so, like, you can see, like, it gives you know brief. Uh, introduction like about the specific commit and all with a bunch of this detail uh, and and I, i'm still thinking that you know uh, like you must have seen uh, other uh, git uh, graphical user interface where you actually see the profile picture of yourself you know uh, if you are uh, maybe using uh, git desktop uh, no sorry uh, github desktop or maybe uh, uh, if, I don't know what other uh, like uh, get graphical user interface are there so you know I don't know like how did they add that feature where uh, you actually see the you know the profile picture because I did uh, check the, the documentation of Git and they do not store any profile picture because they doesn't need they only uh, deal with that actual text like uh, Yesh, uh, Yeshmita the name is a text email id is a text all the the data storage that the get is actually text so i think there is no binary file so i think uh, images are called binary files i don't know <laughs> I, I don't know but uh, so uh, like uh, what i was thinking that you know when the user connects his uh, his or her repository to the to the remote repository at that time it might you know fetch the all the data from the remote repository with all the data like um, image url maybe that can work uh, like if you have any option like or if you know like how we can do that um, that would be really helpful and just last thing before i uh, do the coding stuff so uh, so uh, the next feature i'll be working on is like when the user will click on the actual file currently it doesn't do anything but uh, when the user will click on the file let me just fix this uh, it might look weird right now okay so earlier it might uh, be looking weird uh, like i have zoomed out a bit so um that, so when the user will click uh, any of this file it will on the on this side uh, like on over here on the on the right side so you will see you know the detail of the the detailed uh, changes in a specific file like what was the addition or what was the deletion in the specific file so based on that it will show over here and there are a few things so this nav bar which i have added over here this thing and none of this uh, works uh, except that last icon um, only that works so you can see it's just very uh, bare bone application so i'm really focusing on the main app, uh, 
feature that uh, the user can commit and uh, and you know see the history i think uh, because uh, whenever we get started with a new git repository uh, we immediately focus on these two things that the commit history or uh, like committing the actual fi actual file so that's why i'm focusing on that two things and yeah so i can just show this uh, this other repo so it's the same that uh, it shows the the current uh, branch i think and like the files over here and i can stay these files uh, and just i just want to uh, tell you a thing uh, that uh, like i literally spent five hours to make this checkbox working so earlier i was trying a, diff a whole new different concept like when i was retrieving data from the, the actual git repository that time um, i was uh, making sure that it uh, gets synced with the actual git repository that uh, uh, means when i uh, click on this checkbox uh, it should uh, contact with the git repository and make literally stage that file uh, in the staging area but making that work was very hard very very hard for me like i was not able to figure it out that how to make it work uh, you know for example if we uh, uncheck it then it should uh, unstage from the staging area and that was really really hard for me so i thought of a different approach that what i will do uh, like i'll be storing the the, the specific file which we uh, check uh, for example i have selected these three files so i'll be store i'll be storing these three files in a separate array and then i will tell the git uh, to just uh, so i'll just at that point of time when the user when the user, user will click on this button at that time it will uh, add this file to the array itself and then uh, commit the changes instantly so i'm not uh, you know um, maybe storing uh, like when i click on these three checkboxes it will not stage instead uh, it will just when we, we will click on this button it will that time instantly stage those changes and then commit um, yeah and just uh, if you want to join the discord server of this uh, thermal app to get stay up to date with all the app development uh, you can join the discord also uh, i hope the bot works yeah let me just copy this url and share it again with you guys okay so you can just click the link and join the discord server uh, i have set up a separate discord server which is a, a separate server for this uh, application itself and if you are interested in contributing to this project um, i would really appreciate that um, and the source code is currently not open source uh, i currently don't have any plans to open source but the, the app itself is totally uh, open uh, totally free to use and the, so regarding the source code what i will do uh, like if you are interested in contribution you are totally welcome and i will add you as a you know contributor contributor to the gitlab repository so right now i don't have any plans to open, but in future like i when i started this project I did thought of uh, making it open source but I will make it open source eventually but not right now uh, currently I will work on this project in a closed source so if you're uh, interested in contributing to this project you are most welcome just uh, join the discord server and we can get start chat with each other and see like uh, how you can contribute to the project okay so let's get started with the with the app development so I will just work on this um, uh, on this feature right now where we can commit. I hope uh, I can work on this feature in this live stream. Okay. Let me uh, refresh the page. Three repositories and four file changes. Okay. 
so over here we are using V model to stay the Uh, yes, Sam, uh, I do have a Patreon number. Uh, I can just share you my number on uh, on my on Discord. Uh, yeah, just a second. Yes, I have shared my Patreon number uh, on Discord. Like, uh, I sent you a DM on Discord. Uh, I'm still uh, looking for the option uh, like you can see over here that uh, I'm using V model to store the data inside the view X. Uh, so like that's obvious that uh, we'll be using uh, actions to commit the mutation. But how we will uh, how we will pass the actual data? So you can see over here, uh, like over here, we are using V model, like we cannot uh, do this, that we you know push the file path as an argument, uh, that's not possible. I'm still checking how to do that. So first of all I just tested it uh, inside the component by creating a data property, uh, inside the, locally inside the inside the component just to make sure that it works so like i did show you also that you know, when i was clicking the checkbox it was adding inside the array now uh, now like it, i tested it and it worked perfectly now i'm storing inside the view x uh, where it will actually work uh, i haven't opened tab tools wow that's bad Okay, let me open the tab tools. Uh, yeah one thing more i just want to show you like the number of mutations i am running uh, like uh, even though the app is just uh, we are just getting started with the app and i'll just show you like this second like how many mutations we are actually you know uh, running to to like the at the state at which we have reached right now uh, like all the features i have added i'll just show you one second 
I'll just remove these. So you can see, like uh, when I just click on the remove button, uh, it runs the mutation. I'll just refresh just to clean the clean the area. Check it again. Okay, just a second, Sam. Let me check it. Uh, yeah, I think I did receive the notification. It's saying hundred rupees. So, have you sent those hundred rupees? And uh, okay, so I'll just move it again. Okay, so you can see uh, the the UX. Okay, so now we are at the clean state. Uh, so whenever I click on this button, so just look on the right side that the number of mutations we are running. So I'll paste the link. I mean the path and. So you can see now like the list is already start filling so we will select and again a mutation and then it's you know it uh, retrieves the data from the git and again another mutation um, and then it uh, goes to a history I mean if you go to the history page it will take some time because uh, excuse me because the I mean, like I have opened the, uh, the thermal repository uh, I think it's have more than 150 commits right now and it might take you time to load it but we will add the lazy load feature later so you can see it runs the mutation again and if I open the specific commit it will run multiple mutations so come on ok now my app now this dev tools throws ok you see uh, it literally run 4 different mutations right now yeah and did you saw this you know the, uh, the description I was telling about uh, so you can see the title, a description. Uh, yeah, I know the. Uh, I need to still work on the to format the actual description, uh, but it works right now. And I yeah, right now you can also see uh, the way I have added the this number of files. It shows three different files and also this thing. So yeah, so it works the way you know uh, the like uh, standard uh, Git uh, graphical user interface app should work. Uh, okay, yes, my appreciation. Oh my god, thank you very much, Sam. Really appreciate the, uh, the contribution of 100 rupees. Thank you very much. Really, really, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, and yeah, I'm sorry, Sam, I cannot join the call right now. Like, I'm doing live stream. Uh, just a second, let me see if. Is because like if I you know connect the call uh, then uh, like the conversation we are having it might get streamed also so if you are okay with that then I can accept the call uh, yeah sure you uh, like you want to know uh, like yeah sure you are most welcome to contribute to the code uh, yeah, you're most welcome. Maybe you can you know, start with uh, you can join the uh, the the Discord server, and maybe if you have any suggestion, uh, like uh, I I do know like I'm like we have worked together, uh, but uh, like just I just want to know give a brief intro that uh, this project can go way much harder. Uh, so, okay, so I will give you access to the github repository if you want uh, like you want to uh, work on this project right now Sam uh, just let me know okay so we are running the v model let me just check the mm, what was that yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, sure you can Okay, uh, just a second let me uh, you know create a live share link and then you can hop into the project and start coding Just a second let me know set up a call just a second
uh, okay sam so i have added you as a contributor to the to the thermal application i mean sorry <laughs> to the discord Uh, so uh, okay so can you just join the the call on the discord my, my uh, system is also start lagging because now i have opened the discord also and and doing the live stream also Sam? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, great. Yeah. So, like, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, yeah. I'm streaming this uh, live stream on Twitch. So, so just you know, make sure to okay. don't get too, too wild. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. The stream is a little bit lagging. Uh, it might be the the internet connection problem from your end. Okay. Like, what do you mean by lagging? Like, it is uh, interrupting between because you know I can see the green mark that it is the bitrate is very constant. It is at twenty five hundred. Cable billing, you know Hello. Yeah. Yeah. How done cable billing project? Do you know, right? Yeah, I do know. Yeah, yeah. So, like, is it complete? Uh, just one second. Yesterday, I have reset the PC C drive, and I forgot that the files are in the C drive. Wow, you are so intelligent. Yeah, you know. So that that's a masterpiece stroke. Yeah, it is almost completed up to seventy five percent. So, like, you have to do all the work again. No, I was just going to do it the electron. Okay, like later. Uh, yeah, electron is good, but uh, like it's still really hard, you know, to get involved into electron because uh, so like earlier because the, the you know the electron view the project is not very popular and the community is still not very active because there was this mm -hmm. bug I was facing. Uh, like I was not able to you know uh, use Vuex inside the electron so I tried to ask question uh, at multiple places but I didn't get help so I'll, so uh, I just you know, cleared my mind and read the readme uh, the you know the actual repository and it was this readme file so at that when I read it clear uh, properly uh, then I came to know that I have to add the add a piece of code in my in the main file or something then it worked okay okay yeah uh, so should, uh, should i share the the live share link with you yeah yeah okay let me enable the extension Okay, so it might take a few time to enable the extension because my otherwise my machine will just die. Okay, okay.
Sam, can you check my stream? The stream is still lagging, or uh, is it like perfect now? Yeah, how about a new keyboard and mouse? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So like which, is, which, which company you have bought like uh, Logitech or maybe a, a Desi company? No, no, basically I'm a tag, tag gamers. What is that company? Like I haven't heard about that. Yeah, there is a small company. I will show you the pic just one second. It is a RGB. Okay. Yeah. I really hate this thing about VS Code Live Share. Whenever I try, try to install, you know, enable the extension, it starts downloading this dependency. I don't know, like, what is the problem that every time it starts downloading the dependencies. The hell? Like it can up, uh, like update in the background. Like even though I have disabled, like when I don't use the extension, I sometimes just and disable it uh, so that it could improve the performance what i can't hear you uh, i was talking about the live share extension it is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is downloading this uh, this dependencies what the hell? yeah also it is saying downloading dependencies yeah yeah so so whenever i uh, enable this extension it starts downloading the, the all the dependencies again and i don't know like what are the dependencies like uh, the extension is trying to download no. now my, uh, my pc is getting way uh, slower like it is now streaming the the stream uh, I'm doing the discord call with you and also I am opening VS Code live share which is very slow <laughs> why don't you take a new come on man are you kidding you know the prices of the laptops for actual developers yeah 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 you cannot, you know, uh, do the coding on a, a twenty thousand laptop. <laughs> it is still downloading. Uh, let me check again. I'm searching for many ways to buy a graphic card, you know. Okay, like for what reason you are trying to buy a graphic card? It's in EMI. Okay, like for like laptop or uh, for a desktop? Desktop, desktop. I think graphic card might be expensive, you know, because of this uh, crypto thingy. I don't, I don't know, like I think yeah, uh, I... like uh, this uh, uh, cryptocurrency use graphic card to process something. Yeah, for cryptocurrency they are using graphic card. Yeah, so it might get costly to buy a graphic card. 
for example if you try to buy a graphic yeah. card of maybe uh, 4 gigs uh, it might cost you about 20000 or maybe more than that no we have a 1050 ti which is 13800 for gb ddr5 for nvidia yeah yeah nvidia okay like it might be the the older version that's why it might no, be cheap it is a, no it is a, i think a 2018 model okay yeah that's good i i think that's a reasonable price yeah that that's i'm trying to buy in a emi no, no, don't buy money. don't buy in a emi it might get more costly yeah it is it is more 1300 rupees yeah it's no it's of no use to uh, to buy in emi yeah i just want to ask my father he will <laughs> no it, it's better you know, to uh, to just uh, start saving the money you know like as a pocket money or something and then you know you can just buy it like don't ever you know use emi it's a, it's a worst thing okay like it's a, like i haven't even buy anything uh, on emi like it's my you know the it's just the way i think because uh, like in that so what happens um, you get locked down into the you know this uh, terms and condition of the banking companies and on all the this yeah, yeah. weird stuff okay so i think we have scored extension Uh, this live share extension finally it's it's starting now it's uh, you know uh, generating a uh, invite url where will the full link setting you know uh, i will just i will just dm you the link yeah So you have bought a, a gaming keyboard? Yeah, I bought a gaming keyboard. Do you see that? Do you see the images? Yeah. Why you have bought a gaming keyboard? Keyboard that's useless. I mean, I have mechanical keyboard. Like, what is the need of you know getting lights? You have a tube light in your in your room. You can just turn that on. No, I just turn right now. I will always switch off switch off the lights. Okay, I know. I know that dramatic effect of keyboard lights. <laughs> yeah. I just want to buy a uh, what is called mechanical pick keyboard, and I search many websites. But at this low cost, this is better. This is better with RGB. Okay. Yeah. This this cost is two thousand rupees. Only two thousand. Yeah. That's a reasonable price. But no, 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 no. That's not a reasonable price. No, no, no. That's costly. Like, uh, if you you know buy a a keyboard of a company called called uh, Dell or a Logitech, that in that two thousand price you get a a good quality keyboard and mouse. No, in the this is a mechanical keyboard. So what is the difference between mechanical keyboard? I don't know. Uh, normally we we will have a. Are uh, you using any uh, TBS Gold? No. Nope. You know TBS? No. Nope. Just, just, uh, just check in the Google. Come American on, man. Computer. If I will open any other tab, my machine will die. You can just send me an image yeah, on the yeah. Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. So have you got the invite URL? I have sent you. No send. What happened? No, I have sent you the invite URL. Yeah, I have joined. Really? 
I have joined and I am seeing your pasta. Okay, that's nice. Okay, uh, so like you, as you can see, like uh, I'm uh, like you must have you must have have been watching the live stream. So I, I'm working on the that commit feature. Yeah. So first of all, uh, like we need to store all the uh, all the data uh, inside a UX store. Okay. Mm, here's the the source code. Uh, like you can just quickly follow me. Yeah, yeah I'm seeing your part. Great. Uh, Uh, so I like I did search on the Vue.js documentation, but I didn't find anything. Uh, like how we can run the the Vue X using the the V model. Vue.js in V model. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like over here at line seventeen, uh, like I'm I'm running this V model at stage file. So and then at the bottom in the methods you can see stage file. So like what data we are actually passing over here? I don't know. Are you saying about the input IMV model? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where is it? Just uh, just show me the IMV. Uh, it is at one 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 line number. One one one. Because we are not passing any argument to the to the method itself. Okay. Have you found, have you found the code? No, why it is? Oh my God! Can I change the server? Oh, now it is okay. Now it is okay. Okay. It is saying you left the. You. Uh, I am trying to join. Okay. Hello. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. How, how, what is? What about your RAM? Uh, my so my RAM is twelve gigs. So I think that. Uh, let me check again because I think uh, it it might be a CPU problem because I haven't upgraded my CPU. Uh, because uh, okay. uh, like OBS takes uh, more than thirty percent of the CPU, so that can be uh, the problem. Yeah, so my CPU uh, usage is at ninety eight percent, and RAM is is at only at sixty five only, and oh. OBS is taking forty nine percent of CPU. What is your CPU? Uh, let me check that also. Uh, What is forty nine percent CPU? It is uh, Intel Core i five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is uh, 1.6 gigahertz. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's way too bad. Yeah, and what? What? Six percent CPU. Uh, it's 96 percent. No, what is the highest software that is taking the? It's it's obvious. It's OBS. O OBS is taking 49 percent. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and Discord is taking eleven percent, and uh, like VS Code is uh, really taking two percent only. 
Yeah. It's really Both hard. It's really hard to you know maintain that consistency. Like earlier when I was having four gigs of RAM, then my CPU was very normal and like RAM was like ninety seven percent or ninety eight. Now when I upgraded my RAM, now CPU is like just crazy. Oh my god! Oh. Are you doing something? Yeah, I'm still checking the, the documentation on the V of the VS Code. Oh no, no sorry, on the Vue.js. Can you just see the terminal? Yeah, I'm running the Electron app. You can also, I think, open the app. No, no, I, I don't know. You cannot do that. Yeah, I think uh, that is not possible to do. Yeah, yeah. Let me check. Let me check. Yeah, because when I run, I know that npm run dev command. It uh, runs the script and also open the app itself. Okay, okay, just wait. Just wait. Okay. Uh, just one sec. Oh, can you make it via terminal? Yeah, you can read the terminal. Yeah. Now, now I can't. Okay, okay, you want to read it right here. Hmm. Okay, I can't stop the terminal. Can you stop the terminal, please? Yeah. Now, what is the command? It is uh, yarn dev. What yarn? Why a r n? Why a? Yeah, y a r n yarn dev d e v. Okay. okay. I think it is opening on your side. Command now found. It is saying command now found. That's not possible. Wait, let me try. Wait, wait, let me try. Wait, let me try. Okay. Okay, I think you must have not installed Yarn on your machine. Okay, I think. Okay, okay, I should. Okay. 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 Yeah, but you know uh, that's Play. okay. I mean, we can uh, use uh, npm. That that's fine. Okay, sure. We can just. That... Uh, it's npm. No one. npm. And this one is yarn. Yeah. Like I was using yarn, you know, because we don't have to uh, type that run text. It is just yarn dev or uh, in npm we have to type npm run dev. One extra word. Why do to type that? Oh, just one second. I have no yarn. Uh, uh, sorry, npm. Really? Like earlier, we I did help you to install the npm. No, no, wait, wait. When you install Node.js, it is pre-installed. Yeah, I have not installed Node.js. Just I have said that I have reset the PC. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can do that real quick. Yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, it is done. Okay. Uh, should I restart the PC? No, I don't think so. We need to restart the PC. Okay. So what should I do now? NPM. Yeah. Even uh, first of all, need to type uh, NPM. So, so just check the version of Node and then NPM. If uh, if okay. Node is installed, then NPM should be installed. Yeah, I have typed NPM. So okay, I will I will see the version. And be a watch. Yeah, it is done. It is. It is in my PC. Okay, cool. Now let's try to run the. Okay, let me stop it and then run it again. Yeah. No, I should. I should run. I think. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just stop the server. Uh, The git is so nice, right? When it is came, uh, it came way a long time ago, like maybe ten years ago. I don't remember. Like it's very old. So you know, there's an interesting story behind the git. So have you heard of this uh, like Linux operating system? Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. So the the person who made this Linux operating system also made the git. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. 
so uh, his intention to meet the gate was to make his uh, the workflow of you know building the uh, the linux operating system simpler because linux operating system was so popular that there was you know more than uh, 100 contributors to the project itself and to maintain that you know uh, to you know cope up with every contribution uh, it was get, getting really mm-hmm. hard to for the person uh, and i think his uh, name is uh, linus turwall like i'm not sure like uh, I think I'm not pronouncing the name correctly, but I think that's the name, the the name of the guy who built the the Linux and Git. So he built the Git just to make his own personal uh, workflow easier to manage all the contribution and all the code. Okay, he, he just okay. He, yeah. he just made for his use. Yeah. Then he you know open source the the Git only. Yeah. Yeah, so he's and very, what is this? NPM? Okay, it's npm run. Okay, just, I will just type the command and then you can run the actual command. Okay. Okay, now you can run the command. Yeah. Is it opening in your end? Uh, no. Like it, it will uh, take long time. To, first of all, it will uh, lint the all the uh, all the e- ES lint. Uh, it will run the ES lint, and then it will run the ap- actual application. Oh, okay. What is the ES lint? It is a updation of the software. No, no. It, so you don't know about ES lint? No, bro. Oh my god, that's so interesting. Okay. So just search eslint.org because uh, so I'll just give you a brief intro. So eslint is a you can say uh, so using eslint you can predefine certain rules for a JavaScript that how you want to format your JavaScript or you know uh, if you uh, go beyond the, those rules or you do not follow those those rules then eslint will tell you that these are the predefined rules and you should use those. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I think uh, it will. Is now it is starting the the electron app. Is it very good? Come on. Is it opening in your side? No. It will take time to load the actual app. Because it has to, you know, re- recompile every time. You know, when we kill the server and start it again, it has to recompile everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why uh, initially it does take time. But you know, uh, when we are actually uh, working on the project, it automatically uh, hot reloads so that we don't have to, you know, run it again and again. And did you saw this in the terminal? I really like this. You know, it shows electron view. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so nice. Yeah. Now it is nice. Just, yeah, now it's compiling the app. I hope it opens up in your machine also. Uh, like, uh, I'm not no. sure if it will work or not, uh, but it should open. So just uh, I have just uh, finger crossed just to hope it works. I just saved the electron view in my PC. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't think so. You have to install electron view. Like it is just an NPM package, nothing else. Okay. Is it opening? Now it is processing all the files. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just t- telling you know, that now my machine is a lot slower. So it is taking a lot of time to compile the code. Otherwise it uh, re- hardly takes two seconds to do all this stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, 
did it open on a machine? No. Uh, now. Like no. on my machine, it is opened. I think it will open on only on on your machine. That's weird. Uh, like, let me just see if I can you know, share the actual server. Wait a second. So there is this uh, this this URL only. Like this, you know, uh, like if you can see the terminal, it is showing ws and then this forward slash and the this. Uh, this IP address and the this random string. Debugger, it is just debugger thing. Okay, I will just open in. Uh, there is nothing. <laughs> okay. Is it open in your end? Yeah, it have already opened. I don't know. You just continue. I am installing the electron. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, by the way, Sam, do you know like how we can uh, run the uh, Vue.js uh, inside the V model? No, I have no idea about the Vue.js. You know, right? Okay. okay. Yeah, I've always just want to learn the all JS model. Okay. Are you, are you still streaming? Uh, what? Are you still streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming, yeah. Okay, okay. Ilkrick said so poke around and when you understand how you are changing between home and about, you'll know how to change the page. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Ilkrick said if you look in the file structure of the application you'll see a home.boo and about.boo those pages show when you click on those links. What is view CLI? Uh, it is a, you can see a, a tool to uh, get started with view it you know when you run the view CLI it uh, build a scaffold and you can get started easily it is saying that uh, we do not recommend it that beginners start with view CLI yeah you have to use view CLI no no for what like no. for, for electron or for simple view project the simple view uh, yeah for that you have to use view CLI only 
No, it is saying that we do not recommend it that beginners start with views here like. Yeah, okay. For beginners, you can uh, maybe just open uh, JS Fiddle and uh, maybe uh, inject the CLI. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, view C CDN and then get started with Vue JS. What is Vue CLI? Uh, it you know I just told you that uh, you can using Vue CLI you you can run uh, Vue commands inside the terminal. Okay, normally we cannot be on. Uh, no, without Vue CLI you cannot. Oh, okay, okay. The host is in the position. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know it might you know, improve the my performance on the machine, that's why I have ended the session. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. I just I just watching the view. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, I just wait just wait. Sure that view activates. Uh, do you land view? I mean total view. Uh, what? Do you land whole view? I mean, total, we are a master in view. Uh, yeah, I just started with the documentation only, and like uh, I know I didn't uh, learn view like in one go. Uh, like I was just working on the project, and like as I as I was, you know. Uh, going in more depth with the Vue.js on my on the project which I working which I was working on, and I started exploring uh, more into more and more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, initially, when I, I was just uh, scratching the surface, and then uh, like I was you know uh, like I have to uh, uh, I have to later use also like uh, then I started using Vuex, and then later I also use Vue Router. So it is all part of Vue.js only. It is just different, uh, you know, features and all the stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just one second. I am set. I am seeing the videos in view mask. Okay. So just make sure you know it, just mute like uh, like I think your video, the video from your uh, the video, voice of your video will stream through my live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm muting, I'm muting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will call you, you, can, you just stream. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, I think uh, I understand like what a view model does. So I, earlier I was uh, thinking of a different way the view model works. So in the documentation, I think it says that it just emits the the value itself. Uh, Over it is saying uh, internally using different properties and emit different events for different uh, input elements. Uh, yeah so instead of using the the staged file uh, as a method uh, I will just use it as a you know, just console of the value just to see if it works uh, but then how will I run the, the method itself Uh, we need to run the method some way only uh, otherwise uh, it will not able to understand like what to do with that thing okay so what I'll do uh, I'll just comment this out and over here I will
So I just try to cancel out this thing only just to make sure uh, I don't even know if this will work or not Uh, because if we uh, use uh, V model locally, I mean it's have a component it's itself. Um, we need to uh, define a data property where it can store the data, and then uh, V model just uh, inject the data. Uh, we also need to use the same uh, property of the name itself. And but I'm still thinking that. Uh, how will the, the method or the computed property will actually run? Uh, if we use, uh, do, if we do something like this. My machine is in so much lagging. Okay, so if you do something like this, uh, you know, if we uh, enter the type, uh, mutation type, and also uh, maybe do this, we are, we are passing the file, uh, and then maybe like this. But uh, the problem is that uh, how we will run this uh, computer property. That's the, the actually pro the actual problem. Now, and same uh, goes for the the method itself. If we use a method, then how it will know? Because uh, we have to you know uh, use uh, something like this that, that uh, this dot uh, and the the name of the method, and then it will uh, run the the method itself. Or maybe we can use life cycle hooks uh, for maybe created mounted or something. But uh, if we use mounted, it will only run the the action for the uh, for a single time. Let me check the UX documentation. Maybe from there we can get some help. I'm still trying to understand like what this is trying to say. Okay, so we got the value and the input. Okay, we are emitting the event. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So I was also thinking the same thing that you know what will what will be the source that will fire the actual method or a component of oh, sorry computed property
uh, over here we got update message which is the method and then this dot commit and then we are passing the value and here is the mutation handler ok that makes sense here yeah. 2 gig compute property uh, yeah I do want, uh, want to bind it 2 way Are you kidding me? Like I run this, uh, you know, this uh, yarn dev command, like five or ten minutes ago, and now it's it is starting the application. My PC is really lagging. No, 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 that's not possible. Shake. No, 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 no. I need to fix that ASAP. I need to fix that. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. that's not possible. It is taking a lot of time to render the, the app. One okay, I think the problem did solve. No, it is not showing that directory. Okay, thank God. Okay, now let me read the documentation how we can bind it two way. Uh, the above is quite a bit more robust than the model that's requested. We can do some of these to push the new idea. So, use two way complete property with setters. okay so we are retrieving the data and setting the data yeah this is what we want this is exactly what we want okay we are using okay so first of all i will just get the okay we are in the right track only uh, i just need to remove this part and okay i need to move, remove all of this code And this okay. I need to also remove this. I don't need this. And over here, okay. So we need to use the uh, getter and setter, okay like this and I think okay so I have already created a, a getter in the vuex where it will uh, retrieve all the files uh, no no we don't need that wait, wait, wait okay, okay, okay so I think it must be that uh, yeah, yeah that's fine so I will do this dot store dot 
getters and then the na uh, namespace of the vuex store and the name of the, the getter itself uh, do I need to return it? yeah okay and now the setter the value and then committing invitation okay I hope it works okay now here come on my machine is lagging so much Here is the loop action mm, update. Here it is. So when we will commit this mutation, we need to dispatch it, and I mean using the dispatch, we will do this and. Uh, it is staged and the value itself oh. it is really really lagging much let's check why it is so much lagging uh, i have only opened chrome Uh, okay so currently i am in development mode uh, for my electron app and it is using 200 megabytes of ram and that's really not good uh, i really need to well I, no no wait 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 i think that's normal yeah like based on the usage of uh, let me just show you only okay let me show you okay so you can see over here that uh, like as obvious <laughs> obs is just ruling over the cpu and memory but uh, vs code i mean that's understandable that i'm also using all the extensions and uh, and the terminal also so that makes sense why it is taking so much of ram but electron and <laughs> the app which i'm working on uh, it is running on five instances that's insane Like the app, we are just you know, uh, it is a, a, having only basic functionality. Uh, it's no, you know, maybe you know, nothing too big that uh, it should consume that much of memory, or maybe possible because we are running in a development mode. Uh, when we you know uh, come in the production mode, in the production mode, that time it might uh, it might be more optimized for the production thing, maybe. Okay, um, let's get that to work. So over here we need to type the value. I think I need to also pass the value as an argument. Yep, I need to pass it as an argument. Uh, it should be value. And this should work. Wait a second, something is wrong. It is showing something as well. Do I, do I need to add the spacing over here? Oh, this is wrong. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, let, uh, before testing it, uh, I just want to check something uh, real quick.
uh, why it is taking so much long time to open the website okay i need to check uh, computed property This is caching with message. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. okay, so I'll just test uh, this thing, uh, what we have done right now. Uh, I hope it works. Uh, I haven't uh, used like uh, uh, use getter I mean setters earlier so this is the first time I'm using setters so it's a new thing for me and I hope it works in the first try well that never happens that uh, you know when you are working on a new feature and you just uh, implement all the code and when you just try the feature to test it uh, but that never happens uh, that it works in the first try somewhere or other you get some bugs i think that must not even be in the guinness world record that when you, you know, build a feature and work, it works in the first try <laughs> that's not really a good commit also oh my god no so just don't consider that error it's a different error so the feature which uh, i was working on okay so i'll just clean the uh, okay so now there is no error okay uh, uh let me just open the view dev tools what the hell okay 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 makes sense i need to enable the extension No, I wasn't expecting that. No, I thought a view dev tools is pre installed in the electron. I mean, in the view electron. Okay, let's try now. I think I need to restart the. Restart the dev tools. Okay, nice. Now I can see that. So let's just start over again uh, just to test it. Why it is saying no view X store? That's that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any sense no that should not supposed to happen okay okay so i'll just uh, restart the server only just to you know, uh, just to have a clean state.
and uh, if you are wondering uh, like how did i change the 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 menu bar of the vs code so i'm using this extension vx extension called uh, uh, peacock so you can install that extension so right now it is just uh, like the functionality of the peacock extension is that it will just change the color of the specific instance of the of the vs code uh, uh, for example if you're if you're opening multiple uh, instance of vs code and uh, that's obvious that if you are you know uh, working on a specific project if, uh, you might uh, jumbled up or mixed up that uh, what is the project about so just to mark the project uh, you can set different colors uh, to specific instance uh, it will help you out to switch between uh, different projects real quick so you can see you can uh, set different colors uh, I think it also have an option to bookmark the colors. Uh, let's reset because I have only opened a single instance, so I just reset only. It is taking a lot of time to compile the code. Uh, okay, so the app is started and now um, we can test the new feature. So right now we haven't tested it. Uh, I'm still hoping that it works in the first try. Okay, finger crossed, and okay, it's done. Uh, I'll just open the view dev tools. At this time, it should show view as store. Okay, nice. I'll just check it again. Okay, so it is running all the mutations perfectly. Nice. So if I click this, yeah, that never happens. I told you, it never happens that you write a code and it works in the first try. Now you can you cannot judge me that you know that if I write console log, that's always it should work. But when you are implementing a big feature uh, like or a major feature, that never works. Uh, let me check. Like, is it omitting the event? I think I'm missing something. It is V model. Let me uh, recheck the code. I will also uh, run a console of command just to make sure that it is able to get and and set the data. Uh, wait, 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 wait a second. I am missing something.
Uh, okay, okay. I think uh, what problem uh, I'm. But uh, no, no, no. No, yeah. That is not a problem. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, the computer property is over here. The value is also defined. In a stage five, which is over here, it is defined at three different pieces. Okay, so it might excuse me, it might create a conflict. Yeah, that's possible. Okay, now let's try again. Let me just refresh real quick. So it run the the mutation. That's nice. Now let me check what data it manipulated. Okay, perfect. It it added to the array. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. So uh, like the problem was with the data property which was added over here. So once I remove that, it worked perfectly, and it is also storing it over here. So if I just click it again, it runs the mutation again and removed it. So it is a two-way binding. That's perfect. So like it's a getter and setter. So if I even uh, refresh, uh, maybe it should work. No, okay, okay. Uh, I will not refresh. Uh, yeah yeah it might so what i will do uh it is not a you know uh persisted storage like i'm not using uh, view persistence uh that's why and another thing is that uh since uh in the beginning of the live stream i told you that uh, i'm not actually commit uh, staging this file to the staging area uh because i try to uh, create that feature it was really hard like it took me five hours to deal with that feature and i was not able to create that so i have to consider this approach where i was storing the each item in the array and then when uh, the user will click on this button um, it will uh, just quickly stay stay those files and then the, it will be just committed that is a very simplest way Okay, so that's nice. This feature is working. Okay, now, okay, now I will just commit the changes. So, <laughs> so that's a funny part that uh, I'm using a separate, uh, I mean, uh, a separate Git graphical user interface to build a Git graphical user interface. I'm not really uh, like uh, I understand that uh, nothing beats uh, the terminals that uh, we can uh, do complex uh, stuff in the terminal itself. But my approach of building the thermal app it's uh, if, um, is the same only that we can uh, run any command in the in the app itself. but it will take a lot of time to build all the features okay
we are in that file okay first of all i need to add the pitch uh, I will add the V model of thing later because that's a separate feature. So that's why I will add it a separate commit message. And yeah, one thing more, I was also working on this feature. Let me just show you real quick. So you see this uh, DMA. So I was planning to add it in a in a more beautiful way that it show a background color with a different uh, background color for each uh, each of these like uh, D has a separate background color and Emma also. But uh, over there I was facing this difficulty to how to assign different color to each of the item in a for loop. Uh, I did uh, read the documentation that I can use. Uh, uh, what was that? I don't remember the name, but like we can use uh, I think dynamic class and styles like inline styles But still that didn't cover my use case So that's why I had to uh, end up in doing that I think for workspace page cover these uh, things only. And yeah, one thing more. I also really hate uh, this uh, console of things. Uh, for a few things, it's uh, really important. For example, if you are outputting an error, the actual error while running the command. Uh, but when you're just uh, using console log for testing uh, and by mistake when you commit those things also i really hate that you know there should be an option that it should say that there's a console log you know what maybe that's a good idea maybe we can try out with this feature uh, later yeah okay let me just uh, add real quick that feature also Uh, oh my gosh so just see this post uh, I don't know if you can see it so it is saying that Facebook again exposes few million passwords that's really not good Okay, let me add that feature. Uh, okay, in the meantime, I can commit also. It is opening the app. Mm. Okay, so. So the, the so what should the commit message? <coughs> uh, what should be the commit message? Uh, we are showing the okay show uh, file changes in workspace uh, 
Uh, well, it is not actually file changes, the changes of the file, but uh, it is the list of the file changes. I hope it covers all the feature of this thing and now in the other commit uh, I'm really obsessed with the you know this uh, making the every commit message like uh, whenever I get chance uh, I just create a new commit message for every single thing also uh, like as you can see right now that I have splitted the the commit into two chunks uh, I'm using a new commit now to create uh, to I mean uh, to commit this new feature uh, where we are doing this oh okay you, know. you see <laughs> that I was just about to con uh, commit these things also like console log uh, yeah, I, that's a good thing that uh, I just saw those two now I will just remove and okay now i can commit those mm. okay now the app is open now let me also uh, add that feature Okay, so I added that feature also. Nice. Now, uh, so now that feature is working, we can jump to the next feature. And now this is the coolest feature of this app, and it is actually literally like uh, typing the commit message and then clicking this commit button. That will be a really awesome feature. I'm really excited on this thing. Uh, okay. Okay, let's do this. So, uh, like, as over here, like, we cannot click this button because it is disabled. So, we also need to do similar thing. Well, I mean, that's obvious that. Uh, you don't want to uh, click the button again if you have not selected any uh, any changes so uh, doing that I think would be easy uh, we just have to add uh, first of all we need to design the add a design over here I think it will be uh, button and it will be disable yeah i think so this should work and now over here the cursor i think we don't need to set the cursor to pointer uh, I, I also don't even remember the number of cursor which is available I think there are more than um, maybe 10 or uh, no no more than 20 cursors you can set like I think there are this disabled uh, resize pointer um, I don't even remember all the names also there are so many cursor types uh, but yeah we can uh, work on uh, this stuff so over here they have uh, I think dim the color or something let me check uh, 
so i think they must have uh, decreased uh, okay i can try to decrease the opacity of the maybe 0.6 can work also i can uh, i'll do that later i'll just test it right now uh, i will quickly add a class over here of button disable let's see uh, it is not working why Okay, it has not added that clock. Okay, it must be still compiling. Yeah. Yeah, it is still compiling the code. What happened to the music? Okay, now it's back. Uh, okay, so it is compiling and I can check the cursor what we have help wait No, not no Yeah, I think we can use not allowed Yeah, that would make sense We can use not allowed But uh, you know from a user perspective not allowed looks too harsh that you are, you know, strictly prohibited uh, or something. Okay, we can use custom. Okay, yeah, that's nice. I wasn't knowing that we can do that. Like I, I did have seen on many places that people using custom uh, icons. Uh, Okay, so like I was telling you that there are more than 20 or 30 cursor types. There is for resizing and all the stuff. Okay, Android is on view. <laughs> It is still not supporting all of this. Okay. But as you can see over here, this Chrome has very good support with on the version one only, and Firefox did came up instantly to the one. I can go to one and one point five, but all the other vendors like you know, uh, Opera and Edge, they took some time. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, yeah, perfect, works. And I also need to disable this. We should not allow to select the uh, so uh, we, we can just use the find and that uh, we can just use an e uh, event listener uh, with an on click. And it will be uh, commit next page. Uh, is this this was okay? That's for the input, yeah. So okay, okay. Uh, I do remember it was a uh, commit message button. Yeah. Uh, I also need to set a V bind. Uh, and I can use vbind locally because that's not much important that we need to store it in a UX.
ये आई मोड से ओके सो वी मॉडल नाउ नेमिंग द कंपोनेंट्स और ऑल दिस थिंग्स इज रियली हार्ड सो व्हाट शुड आई नेम दिस वी मॉडल एनी सजेशंस व्हाट शुड वी नेम इट what happened to the music end suggestion because i have to use uh, another dynamic class also uh, just to make you know toggle that uh, disable or not oh, okay 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 got it got it so we because i was wanted to use v model you know for adding a disable class so what i can do uh, i can do this and button disable and over here I will add commit button so if this is true I mean if it will be true then it will be added else it will be not added showing an error oh okay 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 because of this quotes why it is showing the error now we want requires for attribute okay now it's gone i think yeah so uh, in the data property we can define it false by default so because by default it will be false and in the setter so i think we should use over here only so if this dot store for command this dot store dot uh, state dot commit like the and i'm using it it's too harsh okay dot uh, staged dot length if length is greater than 0 and then uh i am using uh, this if statement over here um, because uh, we are updating the state of the the state of the button based on the selection that if there is any item in the staged array so after then only we can do it and over here i will add uh, we will just add a toggle fee no wait 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 uh 
uh, it should be no, 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 not over here. Uh, not over here. Uh, instead, what I can do, uh, I need to use that. Uh, uh, I can use, I think it's called tertiary, uh, tertiary uh, of, I think it's called tertiary ex expression. Yeah, I can use that. So, yep, this is the one. Uh, and this is very easy. Over here, we uh, we just need to convert into an convert into a boolean. But we don't have even like we don't have to literally convert into a boolean also. Uh, wait, let me think of a. Now I can use a computed property which can return a return the value itself. That will be much more easier. I don't have to use this now. Uh, there is a little property stage. Yeah, so I can just use staged file length. And now over here it will just. <coughs> okay, it will return this dot store dot state dot commit dot stage dot length. Uh, I think so. So if by default it is a getter, uh, I'm doing something wrong. Okay, okay, got it. So I can use error function. Yeah. And now um, Stage file length. I can just copy this and over here. So if it is greater than zero, it will uh, yeah. Okay, so I don't even have to use that anymore. Yeah. So if it is greater than zero, uh, okay, we can make it more simpler. Or we can try this also. So what is the error now? <coughs> Store is undefined. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense, it's correct. This dot store dot state dot comment uh, width dot staged dot length. Uh, or it is possible that I'm using it in a wrong way or something. Uh, 
so I will just uh, check if it is okay it is compiling the code or not it is still showing the error the white is showing this and what I am missing right now okay so if I just don't use that computed property if I use it directly then what what about now or uh, okay, like this will it work now uh, it, uh, it must be compiling the code again is working I think let me just refresh what the hell what was that Okay. Here it is. Uh, okay. Here this one. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, I can just use the method right over here, right? It should be a method and then over here we can do the stuff we want uh, so we can just uh, do this where we are returning okay. oh I understand now what's the problem it was with this dot yeah 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 this will work And over here for testing that button, I will add the console log statement. Okay, and it is now compiling the code. That's weird. You know why it's not working? I still don't understand.
because uh, I think we need to return the value itself that's the, then it will work otherwise it will not work Okay. Now it's showing the error only. No new expression. Hmm. So if we okay, uh, this code is correct and I do this. How about now? At least now it should work. Okay, now it's not showing any error. That's nice. And yeah, it, it is working perfect. Mm, yeah, perfect. So if I add this, what the hell it is not? Why it is not getting disabled? We, uh, we have added two files to the staging area I mean not uh, literally adding to the staging area but uh, why it is not working so I will just console log this thing just to test if it if there is any problem or maybe I have to convert it to a boolean that's the possible way I think I will run another uh, console log statement and this time I will test and make it show converting to a like this so let's try now It is still compiling the code. The goal of practice is always to keep our beginner's mind. For a while, you will keep your beginner's mind. But if you continue to practice one, two, three years or more, although you may improve some, you are liable to lose the limitless meaning of original mind. Okay, let's try now. We have already uh, added two parts to the staging area. Okay, we need to check the console. So every time it is returning true. And now it is false. Okay, okay, I think I think it should be opposite. 
because this is already returning true regardless uh, if we convert into a boolean value or not so if it is uh, if it is true i mean if it's greater than zero then we don't want to disable it if, uh, we do want we want to do this thing yes You want to this? Okay, let's try now. Wait just a second. Okay. So uh, let me open the console real quick. And if I add what why it is not working this time ah okay. uh, interesting good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I have hard coded the value also. Yeah, over here. Oh, it's so silly. I was still wondering why it's still happening because uh, all other things are working perfectly. Okay, so we will just wait for the code to compile and then let's see if it works. Okay, so the port is compiled and now it is showing disabled and now it is enabled perfect so this is what we wanted to do and it's real nice perfect perfect Uh, and also Okay, so now uh, we need to work on the feature of actually committing the stuff. So we have the on click, and we already have all the files, uh, all the files we need in the, in the array itself. Uh, all we need is to uh, uh, add the option. Let me check it. This is over here. So uh, we will like console of the this dot what was that name again? So it is this commit message title.
uh, hello uh, uh, I, i'm not able to read your name uh, k s v a mathu how are you Uh, I'm working on a and thermal uh, so it's a app it's a git application uh, which is based upon uh, using the technology of uh, electron and UGS uh, so it's a git graphical user interface I'm building um, it is similar to uh, you know if you if you have used uh, github desktop or any other similar application so you must be aware of uh, git graphical user interface so I'm building similar one only so we can see over here okay it is showing an just a second uh, i will just show you the the app itself okay so just wait for this code to compile and then just show you Okay, now the code is compiled. Uh, okay, so uh, so this is the, the thermal app which I am working on. Uh, it's a get graphical user interface, and uh, so it's similar to any um, get uh, graphical user interface. Uh, but the there are few uh, things uh, which stands out for this project, like uh, the uh, the design itself. Uh, like <laughs> the current design is not too really fancy uh, but sure I'm sure like we can improve the design also uh, so it's a, the design currently is very simple like uh, so when you will install this application it will be uh, just pure phone like this uh, when you launch the application for the first time uh, but and then uh, you can click on this get started button and then you can add, add the path uh, of your repository and then click the add button I'll just uh, copy the path of the repository real quick uh, like this and now it is added over here and then I can just click select and it will open the workspace for this repository and then you can um, maybe you know commit the changes if you want uh, I'm still working on this feature right now uh, that you can select the files and then type the message and then click on the commit button uh, yeah I'm still working on that right now uh, but as you can uh, do other stuff also that you can check the history uh, and it outputs more information also like uh, the author name, email, the title of name, and all the stuff, and it also prints the file changes. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, wait a second. Uh, the audio is right? uh, Okay, I will just decrease the audio. Sorry about that. Uh, right now, the project is not open source, uh, but uh, yeah, the, uh, in future, the project will be open source. Uh, and uh, the project is, I mean, the source code is currently private. Uh, and once I will uh, ship these two basic features, and the basic features are uh, 
where you can you know commit the changes and it is also uh, where you can also see the <coughs> where you can also see the difference you know <coughs> sorry about that so when you click on the, uh, any of this file uh, it will show the diff you know when you run uh, get diff so that you can see over here and you can commit the changes so these are the two primary features which i'm working on and after then i will release the app for free and if you want to you know contribute to the project you're most welcome to contribute um, you can join the discord server where we can you know talk and see like how you can contribute to the project and sort things out yeah the project is uh, really impressive and you know the best part is that uh, over here let me just show you uh, okay so so this is just the uh, all the commit history of the of the thermal lab so you like i will just show you again so this is the the path of the project like uh, i'll just select it over here and i will click the history and it is all the history of the this commits this is the actual commits of this project and you can see the list goes on and on and like i have been working on this project for nine days for continuous nine days but i uh, initialized this project 16 days ago as you can see over here yeah yeah i'm really excited to work on this project Okay, we were over here, and now uh, if we uh, click on the button, uh, I don't want to use this uh, this app for committing my my actual uh, Git repository. Uh, I think I might I might mess up few things because it's the actual source code. So I have created a separate Git repository for testing, and I'm using it that for testing only. Okay, so I'll just select few files uh, and I will type. Uh, so over here you can see, uh, like, uh, if you uh, are a bit aware of get and like the D functionality. So what happens? You might have noticed this. So the D stands for delete and A stands for I'm sorry, M stands for modified and A stands for not added. Uh, so it's a different terminology for git which uh, you can see in the documentation of git itself uh, I can share the link of the, of the git also So this is the documentation of the git and um, uh, You can uh, check the documentation and like the terminology over there so uh, these are the two new files and if I type a message uh, new file added and then it, if I click on this button it should uh, console log something uh, let's see okay uh, well, that's where it's not working. Just a second. Just a second, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So why this button is not working? Let me check. Uh, I think it is. Uh, it should emit any. Uh, or maybe not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. Why it is not working? It should be uh, on click dot native. Yeah. It should be native. Yeah. Now it should work. Thank you. 
and okay it is taking a lot of time to compile Okay, so the code is compiled now uh, we can test it out and it, this time it should uh, output some message to the console and it, it worked you see it is uh, showing the this new file added uh, which is uh, this text and if I do it again uh, it is working perfectly nice so and Okay, let me just read the documentation for the committing, like how we can commit actually. Uh, I think I just need to add a few files only. the path of the current repository also and it says workspace dot it is okay, workspace dot uh, state dot current uh, repository and then I need to add and here I need uh, I need to pass an array of all the all the files which I have staged and I can use uh, I think I have used that over here somewhere uh, here it is okay here it is I'll just still check the documentation just to be on the safe side okay saying so that's the commit message yeah that's a commit message uh, which you saw in the console uh, yeah this one this is a commit message so whatever commit message you type it will show up well <laughs> i mean it's, i'm just testing it right now it will uh, like it will you know uh, the message you will type over here and you will click on this button and the file will be committed so that's the procedure i'm just uh, testing it right now an async function and over here we will uh, so once we have staged all those changes which we have uh, stored inside an array and then uh, we will uh, yeah and another thing I just want to say real quick uh, so uh, I'm not uh, you know uh, if I if you select any of this uh, 
files it not literally stage those files uh, you know if you will uh, type a command like git status uh, it will not show over there that the, this file is being staged uh, it's just that I'm storing uh, these files in a separate array where it, 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 it where it is just considered that these files are being just staged uh, I know that this uh, approach is a bit weird uh, but the, I, have, I did try to you know uh, try to work on the actual approach that when we you know uh, we uh, click on a checkbox it run git add and it's add to the staging area so working on that feature was kind of a bit hard and so i tried this approach nice yeah sure thank you yeah see you and thank you very much for watching the stream yeah you're most welcome to watch it again Okay. And now uh, we can commit the changes after we stage. Uh, where it is? setting any other option of the body result here uh, if my uh, stream timing works out for you stop by my stream oh. yeah sure uh, i will just check uh, your live stream view once i'm <laughs> done with my live stream I can pass the, the commit message the commit message title and then we can pass the uh, the actual array yeah thank you very much yeah really appreciate that Thank you for the follow. Uh, uh, so, what is the name? Like, it's K S V uh, K S I V Kisiwa Muthu. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. Okay, so uh, we have added the feature and I'm a bit excited to test it out. Okay, I'll just uh, write another console of command. You have committed the changes. Okay, uh, so I'm a bit excited. <laughs> I hope it works. Okay, let me see if the code is still compiling or not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you very much for the follow, Siva. Okay, so the code is compiled now. I'm a bit excited to test this feature. Okay, so I'll just uh, refresh everything just to have a clean state. Okay, now yeah, we can ignore that error. 
so we got a I will also open it over here just to test it off it uh, if it works uh, real or not okay so we have all these uh, file changes so you can just see these files so these are just uh, random files I have created for testing this uh, application itself so I'll just uh, stay I'll just stay these two files and I will name uh, created new file and I'm really excited to test it out okay so I'm, I'm clicking the button now okay I'll click the button oh my god no I got an error a path must be string or buffer no 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 I wasn't expecting this uh, beyond promise Wait, what what happened over here yeah I'm using promises only so this I'm using okay that's also correct okay oh okay it is a method yeah my mistake okay let's see if the code compiles this time let's see okay let's try now try now okay so I'll just uh, refresh everything again okay I'll just select these two files create a new file and click button no 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 what's the problem now Uh, it is saying a path must be a string or a buffer but which path uh, he is trying to refer let me try console this also uh, because it's saying that the first argument should be a uh, string and the second argument should be an array so I can do this uh, is the problem is over here We copy the path. Now we did that not okay here it is. Okay, oh I okay okay now I understand what was the problem. Okay, so this thing was so correct. Okay, so we can still uh, okay okay so it was my mistake from my end I haven't added the the path uh, object okay so now I have a, a good feeling that this time it will definitely work it should work this time <laughs> It is taking a lot of time to compile the code. 
so I think uh, it compiles the code for every single change okay now let's test test it out let's test it I will just quickly refresh uh, it should work this time it should work it should work so if this thing works it's like you know uh, winning the half game of the this app create new file oh my god oh my god it worked i think it worked let me check uh, or not no no it might not work no false alarm false alarm it says it did not match the path any known to its path spec okay it says rejected oh that's sad but why do you think uh, the path is uh, Let's see what. That's really weird. why it is seeing this thing okay so what i can do uh, i can just split this uh, into different so we have this uh, i know that will make this code a little bit bigger but that's fine over here and then the path of the working directory and then we commit the exact same thing so I think it should work without any issues I will just try again did it really work? Oh. it worked What? Why it is not showing over here? If these two files are okay, 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 the title is missing. My bad, my bad.
I need to still fix that bug. Wow, now it worked. Now it finally worked. Wow. Yeah. It worked. Okay, now I know I will just try other thing also. So what I will do? Uh, okay, that's weird. I still need to work on this feature that it you know it reloads automatically. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, now this file should delete. Okay. Delete. Hot. Dot. Mp5. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I have deleted that file. Uh, I mean, I have committed that change. Wow, it really worked. That's unbelievable. That's really unbelievable. Okay, I can work on that feature later that you know it reloads uh, automatically. There are a lot of things uh, I need to reload automatically. Uh, I can work on that feature later. So what I will do? I will just commit all the changes. I mean, the changes of this feature from the thermal app only. <laughs> Uh, so I'll just check uh, the files uh, which I want to commit from the other app. Uh, currently there is uh, no option to push the changes. Uh, but... <laughs> Sorry about that. My throat was a bit rough. Uh, okay, so I'll just open the thermal uh, thermal repository. Uh, <laughs> the button is still hidden, and that's uh, another bug uh, I need to fix. And uh, over here, the checkbox is also missing because of the size problem. I need to fix that also. Okay, let me check what other. Uh, Uh, I think it is not a specific, it is not a file, I think it is a specific changes I need to commit. Oh, no, I, I have to use this app only. But in the thermal app you, you can only, you know, uh, right now, uh, you can only uh, commit a file. Uh, but later we can add the feature where you can uh, commit specific line also. It was imaginable to see that. Okay, so this all I will uh, add this over there. So
Uh, I also need to add the feature uh, where it doesn't allow you to commit without um, without actually passing the. I mean, uh, if you do not uh, pass the title, uh, it doesn't show the error, but it still uh, run all this uh, all all the lines of code. But it also doesn't commit because the the title is actually very important. So that's why. Uh, okay over here now uh, so I think I might have uh, forgot to commit this earlier and so what is the message for now No, 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 undo that, undo that, wait, shit, It's taking so long to commit these changes. It is very lagging right now. statement for file writing co uh, commit messages is really hard I'm able to write on index what So let me just 
check uh, okay so these are changes only and why there is a staged uh, class I don't remember adding that okay over here oh I see um, so we need to change this to um, So this should be a checkbox I think and this can be the path I suppose So let me just uh, check real quick that it doesn't affect the UI Okay, now I think the code has must have been compiled. Okay, so I don't see any changes to the style yet, that's fine. And what is left? It is committing the changes. those things so shit I need to undo right now uh, I need to stay in these two and this one also We also have to do this commit so because it, I think it only returns a promise, so we really don't need that. Okay, uh, we can just uh, leave this over here. 
because uh, it might you know help uh, a user you know if he, if he or she is using for debugging the changes also yeah maybe you know maybe he he or she is trying to report a problem uh, in that case it might be helpful for the person to report a problem Okay, so the next feature uh, which uh, I, we will be working on is the the diff, uh, the actual diff that we can see the changes in the file itself, uh, which we will the this we will work on this. Excuse me, we will work on this feature in a later live stream. Uh, like today, we work on this big feature. It well, uh, the code of this feature was not so big. Um, but looking from from the features perspective, it's a, a kind of big thing. Uh, yeah. Why it is still saying hot in the stage? That's weird. Because that was a file which we have deleted. Uh, over here, so we have deleted that file. Why it is still showing over here? And since uh, that file is over here, that's why it is uh, showing this button as as uh, not disabled. Mm. Okay, well, I mean uh, that's obvious that uh, you can find bugs anywhere in the code, uh, but the, now the main purpose of the uh, the project will be on focusing on this part where the user can uh, see the git div uh, something like this uh, something like this only uh, and again uh, the view will be very minimal uh, and uh, we'll be uh, iterating based on that like over here you can see uh, and uh, once this feature is uh, Released. I mean, the feature is created, and then uh, I will release this app uh, for you to download. And uh, when the when the app will be released, it will be in the alpha or maybe beta. I'm not sure, uh, but it will be in the testing phase when I will release this app. And it might, and in the initial release, it might also have a lot of bugs. So yeah, bear with me. So when I will release this app, and uh, so I'm. Most of, I will, would really appreciate if you have any feature request or you know if you are willing to contribute to the pro this project, you are most welcome to the contribute. Uh, you can join the Discord server. Uh, we can talk uh, on the contribution and we can sort things out. Yeah, and just real quick, uh, let me share the the invite you are in the Discord. Just a second.
it is taking a lot of time to open the discord okay fine it's open okay so uh, for the thermal application i have built a separate uh, discord server uh, where you can join and i will share the invite url with you guys okay so this is the invite url uh, you can quickly uh, uh, join to the discord server using this url or uh, maybe you know if the url is expired the time you are trying to join you, know, you can just uh, shoot me a message on the uh, on my twitter handle uh, it is method issue 77 um, you're most welcome to join uh, and if you are interested in the contribution to the, to the application itself you can do that also and yeah so it was a fun experience uh, for building this application in the live stream and uh, and today we built uh, an, a feature where the user can actually commit uh, the changes which was the, the first uh, the breakthrough of this uh, app and now only the second feature is left before I'll be releasing this app uh, for you guys to use and yeah it might maybe take two or uh, one or two days uh, depending on the, the difficulty of the, the feature and then you are most welcome to use the, the application okay yeah so that's it for this live stream and i, I really appreciate for hanging out uh, in the live stream and again don't forget to uh, follow me on twitter or maybe follow the twitch or, or anywhere you're uh, watching this live stream and uh, yeah i'll be doing the next live stream re uh, real soon uh, where we continue the development of this uh, this thermal app and uh, don't forget to know uh, to support this uh, since i am uh, building this uh, since i am building this uh, app for free uh, and i am uh, investing my time and uh, uh, my skills on this project and it is free for you, you guys to use so i would really appreciate if you can uh, become my patreon uh, i can also share the url with you guys uh, uh, you can uh, become my patron and help me with the development of this project <laughs> what is this not working uh, okay so this is the url uh, you can become my patron and it will very much help me to continue the development of this project and make it free for all you all of you guys to use it and yeah thank you very much again for joining and i will see you in the next live stream Bye-bye.